Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another episode of Kita News, where we talk about everything otaku. We got a couple of big announcements today, so let's get right to it. Bandai Namco Entertainment announced on Twitter that their upcoming mobile game, Tales of Luminaria, will be releasing on November 3rd in Japan and November 4th globally. For those hoping to play the global version with Japanese dub, well, we got some bad news for you. The global version of the game will not have Japanese dub. Hopefully in the future they will update the game with Japanese dub, but as of right now it looks like I will be playing the Japanese version. Bandai Namco Pictures revealed that they will be releasing an original golf TV anime titled Birdie Wing. Kito Akari will play Eve and Seto Asami will play Amawashi. I'll wait. The anime is set to release 2022. The official website for the Shaman King TV anime has revealed that the anime will be going into the Mount Osore arc in the 30th episode which will air on November 4th. The website released a teaser trailer, a new visual, and two new cast members. Tanaka Hideyuki will play Matamune and Nanami Hiroki will play the first Asakura Hao. The official website of the upcoming TV anime, Maho Tsukaide Meiki, the dawn of which, has revealed a visual and the cast members. Umeda Shuichiro will play Seibo, Okasaki Miho will play Lux Christus, Suzushiro Mayumi will play Holt, and Yashiro Taku will play Kudo. According to multiple reports, there will be a special announcement for No Game, No Life in the magazine monthly comic Alive. The magazine issue with the announcement will be releasing on November 27th of this year. The announcement is being made to celebrate the 11th volume of the light novel, which will be releasing on November 24th of this year. The special announcement is to celebrate the release of the latest volume, which is the first volume in three and a half years. I'm sure many of you guys are already thinking it, and yes, I am as well. No Game, No Life anime season 2 is a huge possibility. Let's hope it's not a gacha game. Shikakumon no Saiko Kenja, the strongest sage with the weakest crest anime, has officially released a trailer and revealed that it will air January 2022. It has also been revealed that Fripside will be performing the opening theme. Speaking of Fripside, Nanjo Yoshino, the singer of the group, will be leaving the group next year. The official Twitter account for Sega's Idola Fantasy Star Saga has officially announced that the game will be ending service on January 12, 2022. As someone who has been playing the game since launch, it's really sad to hear, but at the same time, uh, it was kind of something that we expected. Uh, the game has been pretty much like dying, like not a lot of players played anymore. Um, there have been a lot of bots in PvP and uh, they have been making some questionable updates. Like, I don't even think the game has updated since uh, a couple months ago. So yeah, I, again, it was very uh, expected for this to happen. I mean, one of the biggest issues of the game was that they went from uh, 2D art to 3D art, and then your characters weren't able to change their outfits when you change them to chaos or law kind of thing. Um, a lot of the characters were also getting like an EX version, meaning they were getting a, a different version of themselves. And, uh, I mean, their designs weren't even changing. They were just getting um, a different artwork, I guess you can say. And uh, a lot of the old characters are getting power creep. So a lot of the old characters weren't being used anymore. So they weren't buffing them kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, again, it was... It was honestly expected but it's still really sad to hear because i personally really love the story as well as the characters especially the characters i think the characters are just awesome um like my favorite character is the main heroine stella so uh she's really cute but at the same time again it just really sucks to hear hopefully in the future they'll use these characters in future fantasy star games um i think these characters are just too good to get rid of so yeah, hopefully Sega does something with them in future Fantasy Star games. After multiple rumors and leaks, it has officially been announced Endo Tatsuya's Spy Family will be getting a TV anime in 2022. A teaser trailer and visuals have been revealed. So there you guys have it. That is the end of the episode. We got a lot of huge announcements, possibly a season 2 for No Game No Life, Spy Family finally getting that official anime announcement, Nanjo Yoshino leaving Fripside is a sad one, and then Idola Fantasy Star Saga ending service, and so much more. But what was the biggest highlight of the news for today? Comment down below and tell me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.